This is a cursed video. And I mean that in the best possible way because just 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 feast your eyes on what is going on here. I mean <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I mean <laughs> I mean come on. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm baffled. Now, who is responsible for this wonderful monstrosity? Of course, it is McMakerstein, or Mr. Makerstein, or if you want to be really cool, MC Makerstein. They are responsible for ridiculous command block contraptions and interesting data packs. I'll put all of their details down in the description, as well as where you can pick up this, this. I had no more words. Now, my first plan of action is to make a ridiculous bendy piston door. So we're going to be picking up the blocks from down underneath the ground, but the pistons are going to be bending upwards to grab the door. Now, I'll be totally honest, I'm not 100% certain this is going to work as expected, but whatever happens, I think it's going to be funny. So our door is currently open, but with the flick of this lever, no nothing has happened. Absolutely zero things have occurred. Right, let's make sure that they work individually. No, they don't, they don't work individually. It turns out they have to be powered directly. That is absolutely fine. I was trying to be far too fancy with my target blocks. Now that we've got repeaters, goodness gracious me. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, this is both, it kind of creeps me out. It's kind of, it's kind of horrible, but also kind of awesome. That is way better than I was ever expecting it to be ever. <laughs> I think I've broken something. I think I've broken something, but in quite a hilarious way. <laughs> I think we all want to know what happens when a piston pushes itself. Wow, it disappears out of existence. Oh, I've just had an idea. You see, a lot of piston doors, despite what you might think, aren't actually helped by extra long pistons, apart from one type of piston door which is the vault door. Of course it's the vault door. It wouldn't be a mumbo jumbo Minecraft redstone video without at least some mention or reference to a vault. So let's see, our extra long bendy pistons should make this considerably easier. I really, really want to make this the most compact vault door that's ever existed. And I'm trying my best to work out how I can do it because these types of pistons, they get powered in slightly different ways to the way that you power regular pistons. But what is interesting is you can actually place redstone on top of them. Okay, I've got one step closer. I've got one step closer. I just need to get these bottom ones powered. I might actually be onto something here because we can place redstone blocks on top of the bendy pistons and it, and it all works. So I can actually use these bendy pistons inside the redstone circuitry to make to make this redstone contraption actually function. I think we could be onto a winner. I'm incredibly excited and also slightly nervous. Oh my goodness, we've got, we've got a tiny, a tiny 4x4 vault door. Let's see what it looks like from the other side. I mean, sure, it's not, it's not the best opening and closing sequence I've ever seen in my life. But everything is fully functional. And this redstone contraption is absolutely tiny. This is like, this is smaller than most piston doors. Okay, I've had a fairly ridiculous thought, but it's a thought that I think could be incredibly powerful. Can I stand on top of this block as it's being pushed up? The answer is no. Oh. So I really wanted to make an incredibly fast Minecraft piston elevator, but you know, a Minecraft block elevator is equally interesting. And the design itself is actually, it's pretty cool. Let's see, if I place a diamond block right here, it should, Fail. Maybe now? Okay. Oh, but it turns out that the arms of the piston are actually solid blocks, so the power is continuing to travel through it. So let's go back to the drawing board and just transport a redstone block. And that is... Well, that's beyond satisfying. That is so incredibly satisfying. I could watch this all day long, but that would make for a very boring video, so let's not do that. To quite a simple redstone contraption, but one that I think is genuinely going to be quite useful. Back when I first started my YouTube channel, one of my most popular videos was an incredibly simple hidden staircase. But I think I've just made it simpler. This is the one piston hidden staircase. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get bored of the look of these things. They just look so ridiculous. They look completely ridiculous. But actually, that's got me thinking. I wonder what sort of hidden staircase we could make with these things. Obviously, we could do a fairly similar setup to what we did with the vault door without using any of the bending mechanics. I kind of want to play around with the bendy bits. So I think I've come up with a way in which we can do it. So we've got the bendy pistons here, which are going to be retracting the blocks for our floor. So that should be all of those done, which... Ah, uh, that's interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. 
So I think these pistons here actually pushed... Oh, they've crashed into one another. They've totally crashed into one another. Did it push these repeaters? We just pushed repeaters. That's honestly the most impressive thing. Okay, I've come up with a new plan of action, which I think is going to lead to some fairly interesting results. So these pistons down at the bottom here are going to be grabbing the blocks from the floor and they're going to be taking them right the way down to the bottom here. So we're not going to be doing any of that sideways stuff. There's not going to be any collisions or anything. They're just going to be dragged downwards, which that should now all be fully functional. And as always, it looks utterly ridiculous, except frustratingly, I've actually built it all at the wrong level. It needs to go one block lower, which I've just realized I could have just made this one block higher. What am I doing? Well, I managed to get there in the end and this is back working again. So now it's time to start adding in the stairs system. And I think we can all see where this is going. So our stairs are going to be moved across by these bendy boys right here. And they're going to put the stairs in the correct positions so that we can actually walk down them, which looks completely hilarious. Except one problem that we have is that this bend right here is actually going to get in the way of these blocks. So we need to get these blocks out of the way. And to be honest, this hopefully shouldn't be too complicated. We just have a line of regular pistons, non-bendy extendable pistons over here that are gonna retract these blocks to make way for our bendy ones. Now I've just put all of the circuitry in place to power all of our bendy pistons. And I'm just, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what this actually looks like. Goodness gracious me. Oh my goodness, lots of things are broken. And that's because this powered that. Of course this powered that. I hope that's not permanently bro- There's- There's things that aren't meant to be here. <laughs> there's a lot of barrier blocks. I- I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happened. I'm sorry, McBaconstein. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for breaking your thing. Right, is it totally broken? It isn't totally broken. <laughs> and it looks- It looks so funny. <laughs> why why does that look so funny <laughs> all right so we can retract the stairs out of the way excellent news and then equally we can also push our floor up so this would push the floor up and then the floor would be retracted out of the way and then our stairs would be put in place right let's get this redstone logic worked out so the first piece of the puzzle that i have to work out is this kind of block retraction moving out the way for the bendy piston circuit and i'm hoping go away come over here distracting me while I'm explaining my bendy pistons. I'm hoping that all of this should be working. So if we imagine that there are blocks on the faces of these pistons here, they should be pushed across and then be pushed upwards. That all looks like it's working properly. And then the retraction also looks like it's working properly. So these blocks would have been moved downwards and then they would be on top of the bendy pistons here. And then these pistons would move them back out the way. I guess now that I know that it works, I could probably just show you. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. And I've now sped things up, so it all seems to be working faster, which is always satisfying. And now I've connected up both sides. So now both sides should all be fully functional, which they are. Absolutely excellent news. My brain, my brain, my brain. I've been playing too much Minecraft today and this simple pulse extender, I'm trying to work out what ratios I need and I, I just can't. But finally I have, and now this machine is working, or at least, in theory, it's working. I haven't actually tested it yet. I'm just, I'm suddenly nervous. I am feeling quietly confident though, because this is actually quite a simple redstone circuit. It just looks more complicated because of all of the bendiness and all of the weirdness. <laughs> so there we go. We have got ourselves a fully hidden staircase working with bendy pistons. So here you can see this is our floor. There is absolutely no evidence that there is a staircase underneath this thing. There's also no evidence of just whatever this is. But then with the flick of a lever, you can see that all of the pistons retract and all of our stairs pop out so we can make our way down this lovely hidden staircase. And I mean, just, just admire the work of art that is the underside of this thing. This is why I've left this as glass because it's just, it's so ridiculously hilarious to look at. Like, it is, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And the fact that all of this is achieved not through mods, there's no mods here. This is all data pack stuff is completely mind bending to me. Like my mind is bending as much as these pistons are. So as I said at the start, huge shout out to McMakerstein for creating this monstrosity, this beautiful monstrosity. I've absolutely loved playing around with it. And as always, all of the links will be down in the description. If I've forgotten, scream at me.